In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress locally on your own computer so that if you're traveling or if you're going offline and you still want to work with WordPress, you can do so. What you first need to do is install something called WAMP Server. You can choose other server options, but this is the one I like. You just go to WAMPServer.com, click download and install it. Walk through the wizard and install it. As soon as you do, and once you start it, once you run the program, a little icon will appear in your system tray and it shows you various options. You see that you have PHP, PHP My Admin, localhost, things like that. So this is going to simulate your, your server right on your computer. The first thing you need to do after you installed after you have installed WAMP server is to create a database. So click the little icon, the WAMP server icon, and then go to PHP My Admin. In PHP My Admin, you need to create a database and by default it will open up to just the page you need where it says create new database type a database name and I'm gonna call this database Skippy John after my cat Skippy John DB and then click create leave all the options as the default and you'll get a new database the next step you need to do is create a user and give that user privileges for the database so go to your privileges tab and click add a new user. Our database is already selected. The username, I'm going to choose Skippy John. You can choose any user you want, right? Leave localhost as the host and then just click generate for your password and copy this information to your clipboard. You'll need it later. Then you need to give your user all privileges first make sure grant all privileges on database Skippy John DB is selected then click check all so that you have all privileges so the user can do everything with this database and click go alright so you've created a user it's got all privileges you've got a database set up now it's time to install WordPress okay so to install WordPress right we'll go to wordpress.org and click download and choose download WordPress. I've already downloaded it to save time. Once you download it, WordPress will be in a uh, compressed file. So I use a tool called 7-Zip to extract it. You just choose 7-Zip, extract here, and do that. A couple. You may have to do that a couple of times. I've already extracted it once. And we'll do it one more time get it completely uncompressed and available and then we are going to transfer our WordPress files into a directory uh, that was created by your WAMP server so once this is unzipped we have it here in a folder and we're going to go into our directory go to www directory we'll create a new folder can see that I've installed this a few times. I'm going to call my folder Skippy John. And we're going to take all the contents of this WordPress download and simply drag them into this folder. Now there's one key file here that we just have to customize WP config. First, we'll take away the word sample. They just write that so you don't overwrite your real one if you've already got an installation. And then we're going to add the name of our database, Skippy John DB, the database username, Skippy John, the password, it's in my clipboard, leave localhost as the host, leave the other things as is. In this section here where it says authentication keys, this is just a security measure and you can generate all you need by copying this link and going to that page it just generates some random keys that you can then populate in that section uh, so we'll come down here and we'll just delete these and paste in what we copied and now we'll save this we just have one last step and that is to 
actually install WordPress. So let me scoot this down a little bit. Okay, we our host is localhost because it's right on our own computer, and I installed it in, or I put the files in Skippy John. Then type wp-admin install.php. All right, and you just get the default little uh, interface to to install WordPress. And then click install WordPress and it will install it finish the installation and it will give you an admin name which you need to just copy use this to log in uh, admin was the username copy the password we're gonna want to change that password immediately and we'll be prompted to do so right here where it says take me to my profile page so we'll just change that to something I can easily remember We'll change it to catnip for my cat so he can log in and blog. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so once we've changed that, anytime we want to go to our blog, we just type localhost. And you can also get to that through your WAMP server. Oops. Type localhost and then the directory it, that we installed the blog in and you can get to that local host path right here and then your directory where all your files are right right here really easily so now anytime you want to install something install a plugin you've got all your WordPress files locally you don't have to you don't have to uh, FTP them you just come and work with them here so it can be a lot faster especially if you're designing a theme alright I hope you enjoyed this tutorial my blog is I'd rather be writing com my name is Tom Johnson you can find other tips and tricks on WordPress, and you can find a lot of information about technical writing and other kind of uh, communication techniques for software.